Earlier this week, two female Tory MPs claimed that they had both witnessed a senior Tory MP watching porn on his phone, once in the Commons chamber and once in a committee. Well, now that MP has been named, he is Neil Parrish, who has been the MP for Tiverton and Honiton since 2010. Parrish is currently chair of the Environment, Food and Rural Affairs Select Committee. He's now been suspended from the party. Probably goes without saying, this man is not a giant of the Tory party. I'd never heard of him before today. But it does turn out one of the issues he has spoken publicly about is the issue of the, as then unidentified, porn watching MP. With the knowledge you have now, watch this excruciating clip of Parrish on GB News this Wednesday. Whoever it is, I mean, surely they would have to have the whip removed, wouldn't they? I mean, I think the whips office will do a thorough investigation and we will wait and see that result. And I think, you know, from that, then the decision will have to be made what action to be taken. Is there a problem with the culture in, in Parliament, do you reckon? I mean, it's not just Conservative MPs, we should say, you know, this is a, a cross-party issue. But there is a sense, I think, for people outside looking in, uh, that there are just a whole range of stories, even this year, involving uh, different MPs, that, that, that gives a sense that there's a cultural problem inside Parliament. I, mean, I think if you've got sort of 650 members of Parliament in what is, you know, a very sort of um, very intense area, I mean, you are going to get people that step over the line. I mean, is it, you know, I don't think there's necessarily a, a huge culture here, but I think it does have to be dealt with and dealt with seriously. And I think, you know, that's what um, the whips will do um, in our whips office. Aaron, that was quite difficult to watch, wasn't it? It was very, very strange. And I should say, Michael, while we've been on air, he, he's spoken to uh, ITV and he's saying he'll resign if this investigation uh, finds him guilty of wrongdoing. How is this guy a parliamentarian, Michael? You've got somebody just so casually barefaced lying. I don't understand what his reasoning was. Does he think, oh, if I go and talk about it on the television, then nobody will think it's me? I mean, did he not think this would come back and make him look a bit strange? We are dealing well, with I mean, some really extraordinarily weird people in British politics, aren't we? I mean, my hypothesis on that one is probably he was invited to talk about the evening news anyway. Like he, he wasn't invited to talk specifically about that story. And then he sort of guessed he might get asked about it at the end. And if he'd pulled out, because obviously on Wednesday, everyone was like, well, who is the MP? And all the journalists were trying to work out who the MP is. They knew it was a backbench Tory man. Now, if you're a backbench Tory man and you suspiciously pull out of a media appearance on that day, then maybe he thinks that could have helped identify him. So he just had to go on and just sort of like, yeah, but just pretend. He's been identified. Pretend nothing he's been was identified happening. And now he looks, he's been identified and now he looks ridiculous. I mean, now he just looks deeply on. Why would anybody trust anything he says? How, how, how well, would any account that he gives now of what's happened have any credibility? This isn't necessarily a man who, you know, benefits from having brilliant judgment, Aaron. So that, that might be what we're That's witnessing true. here. I mean, it, it wasn't like he wasn't going to get caught. You've got two different female colleagues from his own party seeing him do this themselves. Like the idea that he was going to, I find it very surreal, Michael. I mean, the judgment of these people, my God. You really could, look, we say this so many times on the, on, the, on, on the show, you could get 650 people down the beach in Bournemouth on a nice summer's day, or you go to London Fields, any, anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. You could get 650 people better running the country than this lot. I mean, really extraordinarily weird, strange people. Let's go to a further update. Following recent allegations regarding an MP's use of their mobile phone in Parliament, I have referred myself to the Parliamentary Commissioner for Standards in the House of Commons. I will be cooperating fully with any investigation. And whilst it is ongoing, I will continue to perform my duties as MP for Tiverton and Honiton. I will not be making further comments at this stage. Now, it might be the case that his understanding of performing his duties is what got him into trouble in the first place. 